flax now I use this because not only does it help control my brows but it helps to take the shine away from my brows and I really like how that looks also as you'll see right now I work with powder products a lot and the wax really really helps the powder to adhere and then I use also a black gel liner. That's what I was showing you a few minutes ago. So this palette that I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette. And I use a couple of their darker colors. And when I first start out, I'm, I use the wax on both sides of my brows, brushing it back and forth. And then I go in with a medium brown and I begin to draw strokes in my eyebrows to fill out the shape. I do very soft, very fluffy, sparse strokes in the beginning of the head of my brow. And then in the tail, I go in and I darken it. And then once it's fully carved out, the, the shape I like, I look at it. Like right now, I could stop. But I do like to further go in with a little bit of gel. I'm not using my gel yet. I'm still just making sure the head of my brow starts at the head of the bridge of my nose. I clean it up and then I do like to go in to add a little depth. You guys know I'm all about multicolor use. I'm all about different finishes. So going in with a little bit of that black gel throughout the end third of my eyebrow is not only going to shape and frame my face beautifully, but it's just gonna look so natural and clean. This is another step that's really gonna help your eyebrows to look natural. Going in with a concealer that is the color of the center of your face is going to make your brows look fresh and clean and professional baby and rich and expensive and bougie and badass and icy and everything. That is one of the biggest steps. I see people using too much, too bright of a concealer, and I never highlight the top of my eyebrow. I always make sure to sweep it down further enough so I can blend it and use it to my benefit when I'm doing eye makeup. I will also say you definitely want to make sure to go in Number one, I don't like to overcorrect my brows right away. Sometimes I, I wait to the end of the look and I say, okay, I need to tweak this. I need to tweak that. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going in, I'm extending the tail. I'm looking back and forth to make sure the brow I did is not too huge. Once I approve, I go in and I set it. I like to use Derma Blend powder because it helps to set it down really, really good. Now I'm going in and doing my left brow and I'm doing this to show you that I have to use a little bit of a different technique on this brow just because <laughs> just how it is sometimes when you have to do the left side of your makeup. I'm going in and I'm just really building the body out, filling in any sparseness, but I'm also not going to make my brow look like one swipe of a creamy brow pencil. I'm going to draw strokes. I'm gonna use a few different colors from a medium brown to a dark brown and a black. And I'm gonna make sure that the head of my brow reaches the head of the bridge of my nose. It also really helps to have your brows done. My brows are microbladed, but even when my brows weren't microbladed, I would always get a better successful brow when my brows were at least threaded, okay? So I just want you guys to understand that Hopefully these tips help you. I'll have more information in the bottom bar about the products used. And you guys, thank you so much for tuning into my new channel. Welcome to the Godly Glow, honey. I have a lot of different pieces of content for you guys. So definitely make sure to stay tuned. I will also say that this brow <laughs> is a little tricky. Like the tail, the very tail of the brow is a little higher than my right brow. So I did go in later to adjust that, just in case you guys were wondering. I also like to really make sure that the head of my brow is not very hard. And this is my new year, new brow routine. Stay tuned for new makeup tutorials on this channel all year round.